Hi everyone and welcome to Sci Art Fun. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to use the onclick property in Algorithm. The onclick property allows you to write a code that will run when you click on an object. This can be used to create different kinds of animations and simulations in Algorithm. The onclick property is a very powerful tool that can be used to create interactive simulations and animations. It can be used to do things like changing the properties of an object when it is clicked, to move an object when it is clicked, to display a message when the object is clicked. The click property can be used in a variety of different ways. For example, you could use it to create a game where the player clicks on an object to interact with them. You could also use it to create a simulation of physical systems and to create an interactive art installation. To use the onClick property, you first need to create an object and then set its onClick property to a code block. The code block can contain any valid Algudu code. Now let me show you the format of the code. The onClick property looks like this. You have to write a code in between these curly brackets. Here onClick means whenever you click on the object, the code will run. Now let me show you what you will write inside these curly brackets. Remember, it's one of the codes. You can write a different codes. More example in details will be coming in my coming videos. Here, for example, you can write e dot this dot text equals Roshan. Roshan as it is text, therefore I enclosed it inside inverted commas. Here e means the current scene. This refers to the object on which you will click. Text is the name of the property which you want to change on click event. Roshan is the text you want to be displayed on the object that is clicked. The complete command will look like this. E dot this dot text. E dot this dot text is written inside curly brackets. This refers to the object for example a rectangle. When you click on the object after this code is written in on click property the text will appear here. Let me show you the procedure. First of all you will have to create an object. For example a rectangle. Right click on the rectangle. Click script menu, type this code here, close the menu, click on the rectangle, the text Roshan will appear on the rectangle. Now let's see it practically. Create a rectangle or a circle, right click on the object, click on script menu, type this code here with the desired text you want to appear on click. For example I typed Roshan. Now close this. Run the simulation. Click on the object. The desired text appeared on the rectangle. In my case, it is Roshan. Let me show you another example. Create a rectangle. This time I want another text to appear on the rectangle. Let's for example, I want Nehal to be written on the box. You can see when I clicked the object, the desired text appeared on the box. Now let me give you another example. This time let's change the density of the object on clicking the object. The density of the current box is 2 here. As we are going to change the density of the object, that's why instead of text, you will type density here. Also kindly remove Nehal because this time it is density not text. So the value should also be a number, not a text. For example, I want the density of the object to be so low that it flies when I click the object. For example, I type it here 0 0.002. Now press enter. Ok, now click on the box. It will fly because the density of the object has changed to 0 0.002 after clicking on the body. As it is a low density, that's why the object became lighter and flew into the air. Now let's change the density of the second object too. Click it, it will fly. Now let's come towards the attraction property. For that purpose, I draw another smaller circle. Click on the circle. As you can see, the attraction property of this circle has a value of 0. It means it has no attraction and cannot attract other bodies. I want this body to attract other bodies after I click on it. To achieve this objective, type this code 
as a value of the on-click property. This time I typed attraction here. That is e dot this dot attraction equals one. It means whenever you click on the circle, its attraction will change from zero to one. So it will become a magnet and will attract other bodies. Let's click on it. You can see the smaller circle started to move towards this bigger circle. As you can see, the attraction property has already changed to one. Now I want this circle to be repulsive, just like two similar charges repel each other. This circle will repel another object. To achieve this objective, you have to use the minus symbol here. Now click the object. You can see it repelled the smaller circle. You can use it in simulating similar charges, for example, positive positive charges. Now let's try another property. This time, draw cake property. As you can see, it is true by default. I want to change it to false on click. Type this code here. When you click on the circle, the cake triangle will disappear. Now let's try another property that is protractor. Type this code and click on the object. It will turn into a protractor. In the end, let's change the size of the circle. You can change the size by increasing or decreasing the radius property of the object. Type this code. Click on the circle. The circle's radius will change and as a result its size will also change. The on-click property is a powerful tool that can be used to create interactive simulations and animations. I hope this video has given you a basic understanding of how to use it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks and bye.